Hood always gonna be here, but my homies gonna be with me. We gonna be on the red carpet thick. Street San Bernardino County, 760. Yeah. The homies from Colton. Don't get it twisted. Shout out to homies from San Jacinto. Shout out to homies from Reno Valley, Riverside. You know how that Dino get. I grew up in the door jails. Everything was pure hell. Grab the strap, the cock get back soon as you heard that doorbell. Nigga, caution. My place riff, you mad, you can get down. Nigga, I bang mine. Nigga, chunk your hood. Nigga, I bang mine. I can feel you hate me. For what? When you don't even know. What up, what up, what up, squad? We back at it again with another episode of Inland Empire TV. We sliding out to the city of Ontario. Now, today's topic of politicking is about Ontario Vario Sur, OVS, or sometimes known as Ontario Barrio Sunkist. They are predominantly a Mexican American criminal street gang out of the O that has been around since the late 1940s. Originally starting off as a car club, they gradually formed into a gang while splitting into two rival cliques, the Black Angels and the Earth Angels. In the late 1970s and early 80s, a turf war occurred between the Earth Angels and the Black Angels, but slowly died down as the Earth Angel membership dwindled and membership for the Black Angels continuously grew. OBS gang colors are black and white. Their chosen attire includes the Baltimore Orioles hats using the O, for Ontario, the Anaheim Angels hats for the Black Angels, and the Chicago White Sox hats for members of South Ontario 13. These hats represent all tiers of the OVS game. Their hood lies between Vineyard Avenue to Benson Avenue, east and west, with the 10 freeway to Philadelphia Street, north and south. This hood alone consists of around 2,500 plus members within two sub cliques. Therefore, they ride on their own. Enemies of OVS consist of all black gangs as well as the Cucamonga Kings. Despite all their turmoil, they are considered one of the most organized hoods in the Inland Empire due to their militant infrastructure within the gang. They have levels or tiers to the street life. Ain't none of this for play play. Just to push the line, you had to put in an extensive amount of work. After that, then you rank up to the Junior Black Angels. And with more work, you finally become a boss as a full-blown Black Angel. The Ontario OVS family is well structured and are known to have leadership influence on other gangs in the San Bernardino, Orange, Riverside, and Los Angeles County areas. The main barrio is Sunkiss Street, one of the biggest, oldest, and most notorious barrios in San Bernardino County. While some members may claim Inland Empire, other members don't and simply refer to themselves as Ontario. The gang has a strong connection within the prison system while having ties to the Mexican Mafia. Around 1994 or 95, after the death of infamous white Mexican Mafia leader Joe Pegleg Morgan, OVS Black Angel member Ruben Tupi Hernandez had assumed the leadership role of the Mexican Mafia while housed in Pelican Bay. He is the one responsible for putting a spotlight on the gang. As a renowned legend veteran of OVS, Tupi joined La M A during one of his frequent trips behind bars he made during his late teens. 
Now how he got there is a whole nother story. Back on June the 22nd, 1987, Tupi was looking for revenge for the murder of his best friend, Tito Marinez. Prime on his list of people was Mary Lou Davila Salazar, the woman who was deemed responsible for Marinez's murder. On that very day, he entered Salazar's house, savagely beat and executed not only her, but as well as her roommate and her boyfriend. Wrong place, wrong time. Police immediately determined that Tupi was responsible and within 48 hours, he was lodged behind bars, what would turn into a life sentence. Convicted of a triple homicide, Hernandez received a life sentence for each of his victims. Now at this point, Tupi is the leader of the Mexican Mafia and continues to run his organization like a well-oiled machine despite the four life sentences he was convicted of. He is believed to be responsible for the recent rash of attacks against prison staff members as well as law enforcement officers in the Pomona and San Bernardino regions. The Mexican Mafia influence is causing OVS and other Inland Empire gangs, also known as the Sereno Alliance, to terrorize and kill African Americans whenever they can, making them one of the most ruthless Latino gangs in the region. In retaliation, the black gangs ain't folding either, thus erupting war and violence throughout Southern California for over the past 25 years. All this racial tension is dumb as hell if you ask me. Nothing really productive comes from it at all. If everybody was worried about getting rich, then that would truly make America great again. Now this is the end of the Ontario Vario Sur or OVS. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you all. Keep supporting the squad. Hit them comments. Check out the link to the music video in the description. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn them post notifications to all. And until next time, Gang!